Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. Today, let's talk about a feature of PPF that deserves more attention among people who understand the value of inflation and who have significant amount of equity in their portfolios. Now, PPF rules say that the minimum amount that you need to invest every year is 500 rupees and the maximum is 1.5 lakhs. If you ask anybody how to use a PPF account, they will tell you you have to maximize it and preferably within the first five days of April or at least within the five, first five days of every month and so on. Those are all tips to maximize the corpus from uh, PPF but the goal of our investing our of our investment is not to maximize corpus from PPF but to maximize the corpus for our future need and therefore you can't just uh, take this uh, tax-free risk-free tax saving investment and put lakhs and lakhs of money that's not possible because the maximum we can invest is only 1.5 lakh and the interest rates are coming down over time so you definitely need for a 15 year goal or more goal or uh, or longer goal uh, you definitely need uh, a good amount of equity in your portfolio at least 50 percent now uh, the uh, there's a nice way to exploit this uh, minimum 500 maximum 1.5 lakh rule that you add ppf into your fixed income allocation but you do not maximize it you do not uh, uh, you invest um, um, you, you know 1.5 lakh every year as soon as possible but you just keep it as some kind of a silent partner every time you have a spectacular return from equity let's say 50 70 80 90 percent kind of return and you are saying okay I'm, I've gone I'm I'm, uh, I'm kind of in the middle uh, say, uh, you know in the midterm of my goal I want to book some profits or uh, remove some, some uh, risk from my equity and shift it into something safe then up to 1.5 lakh you can put it into a pp uh, ppf uh, account provided you don't uh, you know maximize it every year now uh, you can have two ppf accounts one in your name one in your spouse's name there will be income clubbing rules if it's your income but you just have to report it because it's anyway tax free income it doesn't matter you just need to report it it's not going to uh, uh, cause any additional taxation in your name so there's no issue at all so um, this is a smart way to use PPF provided you do goal based investing. If you don't do goal based investing, then you say, oh, I am losing money. Uh, uh, I should maximize the safe instrument. Uh, if I remove if money from equity, I will lose, uh, you know, up, uh, up movements in the market and all those kind of thoughts will come in your mind. But if you are doing proper goal based investing, you will understand its value. For example, I have been investing, I've said this story many times, I'll say it one more time. I have been investing for my son's uh, future needs from December 2009, one uh, month before he was born. So it's now about uh, uh, 11 and a half, sorry, 10 and a half years. Uh, that portfolio is 10 and a half years. But the advantage is that when I started, I understood the importance of asset allocation. So it was 60% equity. I was able to maintain this all these 10 years. Now, at least twice I have booked profits or rebalanced I should say uh, from equity and pushed it entirely into PPF so for my fixed income I have a PPF in his name uh, that's uh, I just keep some small amounts uh, every month a thousand rupees something like that I, I put uh, the maximum fixed income is coming from my mother's PPF account I opened that uh, PPF only for this purpose uh, at that time she was in the tax la taxable slab but now she is not um, so, but it's her money, but it's all, but she's, she sees with us, it's fungible and so on. So that's part of the fixed income um, uh, allocation. I also have an arbitrage fund, which entirely comes because of booked gains. I, I just shifted gains from or rebalance, whatever you want to call it from equity into arbitrage. But uh, I have this, my son's portfolio. Every time there is a spectacular up, upswing i shift some uh, some uh, uh, money into it and that's what i have been doing of course you, you there is a uh, uh, i also have my own ppf for my retirement that's stacked to my retirement goal the total amount i can invest for my in my ppf on my son's ppf is 1.5 lakh but uh, i don't add anything there in my ppf also i just add something like 500 rupees every now and then maybe couple of times a year something like that so i'm able to do this without any problem the advantage is by having done this twice i am now have enough amount in ppf arbitrage uh, in the two ppf accounts plus arbitrage uh, fund my fixed income uh, portfolio i have enough amount to send him to college right away so that gives me a, a peace of mind and safety i can handle market upswings downswings sequence of returns whatever you want to call it i can handle it in peace so this is a nice way to uh, to guarantee those gains say you have, you have taken uh, very high risk by investing in equity 
those that equity has given you gains and you take that gains and safeguard it for your future need so it's uh, there's nothing wrong with it you're not doing anything uh, you're not missing any opportunity or anything by not investing every maximum 1.5 lakhs in every year you're just maximizing it uh, tactically maximizing the safety benefit tactically so this is something that you should consider doing bye bye